Keep in mind. Played pretty good. Played really good. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to BVTV for day one of the Bowls Victoria State Championships. We're here at Bendigo East again, courtesy of the City of Greater Bendigo. And we have another game for those who are joining us this afternoon. We're at Men's Pairs Semi-Final Stage. Uh, my name is Josh Thornton. I'm joined by none other returning guest, but for the first time today, Brian the Bull Mansbridge. G'day, JT. How are you going? Good, thanks, mate. Yeah, good to be here. And, uh, yeah, Good, uh, good set up in the semi semi final too. Yeah, so we've got one men's pair semi final going. Uh, the matches we're already into the first end of this match. It's uh, uh, CJ Snary and uh, Luke Lamont from Lilydale, Eastern Rangers, playing against Dave Ashby, Ali Forsyth, both from Clayton and, and Sandbelt. So yep. um, we've got three matches going on today. Uh, right now we have uh, two ladies four semi finals, and the reason why we've got to get these matches today, we don't always have a third game scheduled during Champs Week, but Due to double ups and clashes with multiple events with some of these players, um, Ali is in the fours tomorrow, which means he has to get this game out of the way. And the same applies for the ladies' uh, fours over there. So while they're playing an extra game, doubling up. So, a little bit of rescheduling. Yeah, we're always on the fly at BV. We're always <laughs> well prepared, you know. So we, we, we can sense this stuff happening and we're ready to go. Yeah, Luke's uh, drawn an absolute clunker. Coming down. Well, he's not far away either. Now, I haven't found out what bowls Ali's using because he's got exactly <laughs> the same bowls. There's an XG and there's a Tiger too. I think he might have opted for the XG. G, yeah. Um, I know Luke's uh, Dreamline XGs. Uh, CJ's are definitely arrows. Yeah, and I'm not sure about uh, Dave's. Dave's. Yeah. No, they, they, they could be a Dreamline. I'm not 100% sure. I'm I just not, didn't. Yeah. I'm, they... We'll do, we'll do some reconnaissance. I should, I should have we'll I should have brought the binoculars out, mate. I could have put them on. But uh, no, he uh, started. Dave had uh, a couple of nice shots there, and uh, Luke put in an absolute bomb at the end. His first, second bomb. Now, to get to this semi-final stage in this men's pairs match, uh, CJ and Luke defeated Graham Shoulders and Roddy Sinclair from Wimmera, 19-4. And uh, Dave and Ali defeated uh, Hassett and Collarhole from West Coast, 22 to 8. So they both had convincing wins yeah. at quarterfinal stage. They certainly have. So Now, the other men's pair semi-final will be played tomorrow morning. Uh, as you would have seen, Scotty McLaughlin and Dan Priddle already threw in that one. And they're awaiting the winner of the match still going on out of B Green, which is between Will McElwain and James Scullin from Stress Lucky Paint, Greg Brown and Ian Warner from Ballarat Highlands. Yeah, and so Brown and them just got a six. Yes. Get himself right back in the game Correct. in that one as yep. well. So it was a... Um, a big, because they were quite a few behind. Well, the previous yeah. end of that, they dropped a number. So that's yes. how they got in that situation. Mm. So, yeah. And uh, we will give you some score updates from the ladies' pairs semifinals. Um, currently, at the moment, we have Geelong playing Goulburn Murray in one semifinal. And Yarra playing Mornington Peninsula. Now, the Goulburn Murray team, uh, they defeated the Eastern Rangers team 15-11 in their quarterfinal. The Geelong team defeated Murray Mallee 14-8. In their semi-final. Uh, the Yarra ladies defeated uh, Wimmera 17-12 in their quarter-final to make the semi-final. And Mornington Peninsula defeated Metro West 15-12 in their quarter-final. Said so we'll have some live scoring during that match. They've just started uh, 
one semi final, the girls, and uh, the other one, I think they're just still finishing off the uh, roll up. So, and due to, the, due to the, the extra time slot today, it'll mean we will live stream the ladies' fours final in the morning, and then we will actually have then the men's pairs final tomorrow afternoon. And again, so depending on, and depending on clashes again, we may have another third time slot <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. You never know. I'll be, uh, earning, every, be yeah. earning every cent that I well, earn. That's well, that's why they pay me the big money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Lily Day balls are, boys are holding at the moment. Um, Luke's got one. They've had a couple of little pushes at it. Dave had uh, tried to roll Ellie's over, but just quite couldn't get it uh, at the right angle. I was uh, saying before the match streamed, Bull, I played against uh, CJ and Luke at uh, region sides in Ballarat this year. Uh, CJ played third to Luke in their region side, and um, I can tell you firsthand, they're very, very good bowlers. So, <laughs> Yes. Well, not to say this guy that's uh, heading back to have his bowl, he's uh, one of the uh, the all-time greats as well. Yep. Has played a lot of bowls since coming from overseas, and... He's settled in very, very well. Bennett Clayton there for quite a few years, hasn't yep, he? Yep, and uh, many, many, many tests for New Zealand. Zealand. Mm. I actually played against Dave in Regicides back when I was last at Shepparton too, so I played against all four yeah. of these gentlemen <laughs> over the years. There you go. At least trying to push onto his bowl. If he can get that even through. up through, he just... Quite enough. Still one to the Eastern yeah. Rangers team. Luke's probably made it a little bit easier for Luke now on, on the forehand. Turn can, yeah, just turn, around yeah, just around. He could dead draw it. He had good line. Last time was probably just half a, like probably a foot short. But he's got every opportunity now. Ali will probably have a good shot if he doesn't change the headers too much on that backhand. Similar shot. A little bit of weight and try and sit his own through Luke's shot. Oh, but depends what Luke can do here. He's got good weight, but he might be just a fraction wide, is he? Not far away, oh, oh, He's that's probably a great ball. four to six inches probably of overweight. The biggest problem now with Ali, if he plays and gets it wrong, gets the bowl under the jack, pushes it back there, he could be a couple down. So he's going to have to get this probably pretty pretty right. Right sort of weight. You don't want to, you don't want to be playing too much. He wants to just push it through, stay around. That just reminded me. Heard something then. I thought, Shivers, I've had a few bets going on that I haven't even checked. Oh, come on, gamble responsibly. <laughs> I got the first leg of the quaddy. <laughs> Ali, he's coming down. He's just going to be under, but he could get off the back edge here. Oh. oh, but he's probably two, maybe three down now. Well, I'm not too sure. I'm just looking. It's hard to get the angles right, but it's one. Two in the second one that he drew from just behind. Now they're going to measure those the side bowl. Two. Two it is. Hmm. Little stiff going one worse off than what he was, but. Yeah, but he had pre just that little bit. It looks like that, That um, well, for Ali, it's his forehand is, is on that side of the green is going to swing a little bit more than this side. It's probably just that fraction wider. Um, I haven't sort of seen a lot of bowls roll down, but it just seemed to let go pretty quick. It's strange, though, but it's also the same hand. If you get a fraction too wide, you don't bite as yep. much. Yep. So where this hand still turns is, consistently yep, yep. on uh, the, the commentary side, so... I have noticed uh, when I was watching uh, the boys before that they were playing this side nearly predominantly going uh, both ways. So. Still good draw because they're coming from a 
her way outside the line, so a good start by uh, CJ. Afternoon, Vinny. Um, yeah, they their first game took forever. There's no doubt about that, William and Scully. And then because of that probably first game, that's put them a little bit behind the eight ball. But yeah, maybe they're just slow players. They've had good line, but just just pulled up that fraction short. And CJ's sticking to that hand. There's plenty of room to come around it. It's in a similar line again. Good leading. Yeah. Yeah, just turned it down on the on the onto the uh, side. That's a very good ball. Good start. Bit of pace. Oh no, he hasn't. No, he had probably every opportunity just maybe to to be there, JT, to sort of sit those bowls at the back, even if you do finish that, you know, foot behind. It's early days. Yep. They haven't played on this green today. Uh, neither of them have. No. no, no. So probably just coming off the other green, not knowing what this one does and. I'd reckon this one be a fraction quicker, quicker than B Green. It's my my intel tells me that. Yeah, sometimes when you come off that other green, you know this one's quicker. You you're more tending to drop that little bit short because you're thinking the yeah. green pace is going to get you there, yeah. um, and you know you don't play that little bit through. So good pill. just a fraction under. So you in uh, town visiting family ball? Yeah, come down today. Had uh, had a lunch with a few friends that I used to work with when I was down here in this area, and um, yeah, and then I thought oh, I'll come out and have a look at the bowls, and happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, or the right place at the right time, or whatever. Great bowl, Ellie. Really. Yeah, great shot. Afternoon, Fiona. Hope you're well. Uh, we are on for eight days straight. This is day one of eight days, so. Uh, Tune in. Eight days? I think I got that right. Yeah, Could well, be it starts nine at days. Nine days. Yeah. I had to rethink really about that. <laughs> Ask Kelly. <laughs> she'll, she'll tell you how long it is. <laughs> she would not get on the live stream just for the kids to hear me speak. I'll get in trouble yeah, for that one. Right. She does that every now and then. Oh, there's Daddy there's talking. There's Dad. <laughs> yeah. Good follow-up, yeah, boys. Oh, great shot. Great shot. Yeah. That is a magnificent shot. He started well so far in this game. Yeah, Luke, he's put some rippers in so far. So, well, he's only got a... He's going to change over. I'm already in trouble, too, because I actually brought one of the keys that I shouldn't have brought with me in my bowls in my pocket, and I just <laughs> get me yesterday and pulled the p keys at the purple tag on it. Trust you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's just never-ending. Nah, that's exactly right. You're always into trouble with just the dev fairies, they keep telling me. Ellie probably just uh, changed hands. Probably hadn't played one that side, so wasn't quite sure. Just finished a little under. So I wasn't sure I heard myself there for half a second. Um, <laughs> in the ladies' fours semi-final, we have one end completed between Mornington Peninsula and Yarra, and Mornington Peninsula is leading 1-0, so we'll continue to update those scores for you. Yeah. And the other game is just starting to... Well, they've nearly finished. The skippers are on the mats. CJ's just put one a little bit behind, which is not all that bad. It's... We, um, now Dave will try and... He's played two... He'll be looking for... I, I expect him that he'll end up behind the jack here because he won't drop his next one short. He's had two that he's... Won't, won't have been... Uh, happy about in his first two, so he'll be looking to make sure that he'll at least reach and give um, Ali an opportunity if he does need to reach up with it. I have a score update from Green B. Streslecki's leading 19-13 after 13 ends. How's Dave tracking? Yeah, he's going to be through, which which is not all that bad. At least now he's got one behind the jack and he can just bring it back now. 
I also reckon the line's a little different going this way on the backhand versus the forehand. It tends to hang a little bit more yep. on the backhand. I'm just watching uh, CJ here. He's, he's on oh, that jack. Nailed it. Great yep. shot. That's three. Yeah, three, maybe four. There's a little Lilydale contingency sitting right behind the head too. Yes. Supporting them. The girls that just got beaten in their quarterfinal, they're all supporting them. Mm -hmm. Dave's in a pretty good spot here. His speed's he, pretty yeah. good too. He's just oh, got to clear that one. Yeah, he has. Sits on that. That's yeah, a shot ball. What a ball. They always say you only need one, JT. You only need one. It's probably in a spot. Is it accessible if you want to try and get it out? <sighs> He's got to get underneath the jack to try and get it with that, you know, enough weight. Turn back. It's, it's hard to push it out that, that far. Or if he can play on the other hand, maybe. But I think he's going to go the forehand. He probably trails it, you know, a foot. will bring uh, that back bowl in of um, CJ's as well. Maybe with the first, he's just trying to draw. Then if there's still an opportunity, they might look for the good Yeah, that's right, second. underneath. Yep. yep. Not far away drawing yeah. it anyway. Oh, this is a bomb. Oh. <laughs> probably just short. Good effort, though. Didn't see any fingers up or down from either side, so I'm not sure. Jeez, just uh, check the GWS St Kilda score. GWS with 35 points at least in front. It's only seven points difference with less than oh, two minutes to yeah, go. I saw it just at three-quarter time. It was about 29 points. Oh. So they've come back, the Saints. Oh, I hope St Kilda loses oh. so the boss gets cranky. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably hoping that you... You blokes win or not. Yeah, no, well, obviously. <laughs> the brother rocked into town yesterday. He's headed down there. Someone told me Geordie was here. Yeah, so. and he's uh, gone down to watch the footy tonight. Oh, uh, right. Not a bad bowl by Ellie, does it? Mm, Jack Hyde, probably. Yeah, not sure. Afternoon, Charlie. Hope you're well, buddy. One of our up-and-coming future stars, Charlie Boswood. Oh, on yes, Charlie. From He's up around Kyabram, is he? Kyabram, yes, correct. Spot on. He has uh, played in a Victorian under 18 state side, won a gold medal at the Nationals last year. Yeah, right. Nationals, uh, the under 18 championships last week went uh, very well. Watched a few bowls there, and there's some. Uh, one, uh, Kromi had a very, very good day. Kromi, yeah, uh, great <laughs> week. <laughs> yes, he did. Three championships. Yes. Yeah, Luke's not far away again. He's here. only got to touch his own. He gets underneath that, sits that, oh. he's rolled through the hole. Wow. He's stiff. Oh. Any touch on his front was... Uh, Probably turning it in. Yep, for sure. And a fraction, you know, a little less, and he sits on that bowl anyway. So, no, stiff, but very, very good bowl. Well, oh... St. Kilda's kicked another one. Oh, They're a point behind with 40 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> you better start live streaming it. Big game of footy. How's yeah, Ali? Yeah, he's wide. He has to. He doesn't want to bead narrow because he doesn't want to get on to it. Yeah, that's exactly right. He's but not if he far, can, though. Oh, mate. This is a... Look at this. What a bar. Wow. Wow. Wee. Great shot. How many boys? Two. Thank two. you. Great balls. Yeah, two. Dave drawing that one, and then, um, you know, those probably three or four down, and then uh, Ali put it out there and let it uh, roll back, and that was perfect weight. Back to all square after two. Two, two, two. That's the third time Sammy's used that one today. <laughs> well, 
Well, yes. going by my AFL app, uh, GWS is one by a point. By one single solitary point. Oh, well. Good game of bo a good game of footy. We're expecting a good game of bowls, I suppose. Dave just finishing just behind. He's dropped his first two going back the other way short, so he probably was going to make sure that he wasn't going to be in front this time. Going to have a look at uh, my TAB app. <laughs> Gamb gambling responsibly. Well, there's a little problem there. I haven't got the second leg. Uh, bad luck. <laughs> That's it. Oh, bad luck. Out. Uh, it's always the way. Racing in Bendigo today, so a uh, big uh, a uh, big day for them in the Golden Mile. Yeah, good correction by Dave Ashby. Mm, very good. CJ hasn't got to do a lot difference with his uh, second one. He can now sort of play that similar weight if he can get back down. And he's not caught this time. Yeah, no harm there. No. Good spot. In the hole if uh, Ali can move it either way. Uh, Luke. Sorry, Luke. Mm. It's alright, mate. Long day. Yeah. <laughs> We mentioned the greens running well, but it's probably this time of the day, maybe the next half an hour to an hour, where the pace will probably come off at a fraction. The dew will come in. Yeah, just just that little bit cooler. Good spot there. Very good balls. Mm. So, uh, Goulburn Murray leading Geelong 2-0 after the first end in the other ladies' four semi-final. Some interest here. Luke Lamont. Oh, Luke. He is, uh, he certainly started very, very well. If uh, the first couple of ends is any indication, we're going to be in for a good one. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. They're both playing some really nice, nice weight, drawing nice. Putting it out there too, which is, I really like that uh, to see them come back like they're starting out wide and letting them drift back. Similar pole, Tally, good spot. So he's a yeah, little touch on the front, it's going right back to his. So I think me and you are very similar ball that we like greens that have got a little bit of pace in it, nice tan. We've had some good uh, tussles on some nice screens at Swan Hill a couple of times, so yeah. like to like to get that feel where it's just you know letting them push them the out there, out and yep. let it yeah, work let back. it work back. Yep. Yep. Yeah, another good bowl. Yeah, Luke, he's um, he's found the line straight away, and he's found that weight that we, you know this green pretty well straight away as well. So he's played. Uh, yeah, he's eight, six bowls now, and he's, he really hasn't done anything wrong with any of them. <laughs> so Jimmy couldn't make it up today. He's uh, he, resting and relaxing and probably... Uh, Probably uh, driving up, is he? He's on day uh, duties today. His oh. uh, two-year-old daughter's birthday. Oh, well. She turned two. So. Yes, I suppose you're allowed to. Yep. A little bit of leeway. How's that? Just uh, digressing for a second. Ooh. That was prior to Jenny, which he did win that race. Oh. Again. She just went out and went bang. Probably should get stuck distracted by the racing. No, and, uh, no, we should be. Bowls, you know. <laughs> it is uh, state championship <laughs> week, Josh. Boys have... Um, they're all bowling and putting in some good bowls in. They're Correct. Not, not far away. Dave's sort of played, had to play that little bit of weight, trying to, you know, sit that bowl and try and get it back. Doesn't want to turn it in. Oh, he has. Oh. 
That's uh, just a little unfortunate, that one. That's, you never think you're going to turn it in no. sideways like that. Just had that weight enough to um, get the edge and roll it straight across. Sammy's even clubbing her own. <laughs> Afternoon, Davey Baker. Hope you're well, mate. Be up there in the Gold Coast, living in God's country. Oh, yes. Even if he gets onto to Luke's bowl at the front there, it probably could jam the back one out if he only just touches it so even if it does pop out at least then <coughs> gives uh, Luke a look so CJ will be trying to just upset it a little he looks a little high is he uh, it's coming now it's just not going to come enough far is away, he on the Optimus or the Dynamics I can't think? actually tell from here yeah right or it could be an Evolve. For oh, well, it could be an Evolve. It, it looks... It, probably the, the optimal line would have maybe turned back there, but I'm not... Um, I reckon he'd be playing with Optimus based on that yeah. he's playing in Melbourne. That's yep. my little... Thought yeah. process. But then you go down and you do see a lot of them using the dynamics and the, uh, the Evolves down there. So... Ellie's just got to try and stay one out wide, and then if it does push out to the side in a similar spot, there's not too bad. Yeah. What are you playing here, JT? I think I'm just trying to draw on the forehand. Yeah. Try and just lay the ball over once. Yep. You can do that. There we go. Michael Rose has actually joined us this afternoon. He's a Lilydale member, and he's told us that uh, CJ is using Optimus. Right. Here you go. Theory was right. Yep. <laughs> you worked it out. Slower greens, though. Used a little bit wider. All right. How's Luke going here? Just probably Come and get quick down. for the line, yeah. I guess. Yeah, at least just, I thought he would want to, maybe if it does pop out somewhere, he needs to be on that side, so he doesn't want to cut the head. He wants to be just, even just a foot behind his own. On the side, if he does turn his own over. Just past the jack, but it's an um, ideal spot. Yep. Because Luke's not going to play, he, he's not going to play weight. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Not with Dave's three back bowls. No, Dave. no, exactly. <coughs> Only on his forehand. He's tighter. Yeah, I thought he would have been... It definitely wasn't where he wanted it to go, no. I'm sure. And the weight was... Spot on. <laughs> yeah, superb. Still, <laughs> discussion about what he's um, what he's going to play, but Just fixing his line up based off the last. Yep. Similar speed. If anything, he's played better speed. He's, he's just down to it. Down he's now. down to it. He's down oh, to it. Oh, what a, what a bomb. <laughs> that is a magnificent bowl. Perfect weight. Great line. One down to two up. Oh, mate, I'm easy. 
A bit of banter between the boys. <laughs> CJ just said, well, I'll just throw it down wherever it goes. Well, I can't get near it anyway, so. Ah, uh, well. Too bad. Just made Dave turn over, go on the other side. Fraction wider. I don't think he's played one. Oh, he did play one on there and drew that absolute shot. So. Score updates from the two ladies fours semi-finals. Geelong two playing Goulburn Murray two after two ends. And uh, Morning Peninsula two play Yarra one after three ends. Mm. Tight affairs early. Yes, both games, uh, all three games uh, started fairly tight. He's got better line this time. And he's down to yeah. the Jack. Great bowl, yep. Dave Ashby. I like Clayton's new shirts. Yeah, they are good, aren't they? They've just got that... Um, yeah, it's really just broken up quite nicely, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a fan. I do, I do like it. <laughs> well, the way Luke's been going... He's probably uh, a big chance to draw this the way he's uh, started, so it'll be interesting to see. It's on a good weight. He's coming down now. Coming back. Oh, that's very close. Just down. But just weight-wise, weight he's... Um, He's really just found the pace yep. straight away, hasn't he? He's, he hasn't been far away with every ball, nearly. Similar, yeah, he's similar Very this close. time. Gets the yeah, oh, he's just, that is That is shot. That is magnificent bowling. I, uh, he is not... He's so far in the zone at the moment. He's just unbelievable at the moment. Like, every end. I know it's only early and we're only playing the fourth end, but he has not missed. Yeah, but Ali, he... Look at this. Oh, he's... Probably going to still be down, but that's a magnificent bowl as well. If this keeps going like this, JT, we, we, it's going to be a, a super game of bowls. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. It started like uh, they're on fire. <laughs> Luke just uh, having a little banter with uh, CJ about knocking that side bowl in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you can knock that one in. <laughs> He'd be stiff if he did. <laughs> he said if you... And CJ said, if you see me bowl. <laughs> uh, I just give something for Luke to just go and flip off again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got good grass. That's I'm sure he's there, coming. No, he's not quite there, I don't think. Yeah. Probably similar to um, Dave before. Hadn't played one that side and really hasn't been drawing too many on that side. But um, anyway. Yeah, good call, Joshy Sanders. So I, I, I did mention earlier, I said uh, he's 
talking about Lukey Lamont having a good year. He won the club singles at Lily Dale, won the Essendon Classic Triples a couple mm. of weeks ago. Yeah, I threw that in because I think he was playing with you too, Josh. So <laughs> That's why he brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, as I said, I, uh, and I, I witnessed here, uh, him in the region sites this year. First hand. Mm. Played very well. Yeah, well, he has certainly started very well here. That's that one. Just behind. Similar pace. He's going to go under, I think, again. Definitely looks wider going back towards the clubhouse, that side, yeah. than um, this it's, side. It's, mm. it's got true hands, but they're all a little bit different. Different, yeah. Yep. Dave will be just trying to... Probably not, he's playing... A little bit more weight this time. He's probably looking to try to get down underneath him, but he's not going to make any contact with the head. Obviously, he's trying to get down around that bowl and sort of push onto the front one to get the back one out, maybe, and get alleys up onto the onto the jack. But it's a difficult shot. Very difficult shot. That's mm, you know have to play that really good weight and then get enough weight to move the bowl as well. Seems to like it. It doesn't seem that far away on first tracking. Just probably going now. Yeah, it's just... Speed pretty good oh. again. <laughs> Not far. A lot of times it just comes down to having that really good weight all the time and just fixing your line. If, you, if you've got that weight, it's so much easier than to... You know, just correct that line that, that tiny little bit and trust it to know that it's going to get back. Does he try and play similar, or does he... He had his hand forehand first, and then he yeah, swung it back to his he did. Yeah, and he swung it back to his forehand. forehand. I think he's looking to come up with a little bit of weight, sort of through that front hole, probably. Or does he go big? Reasonably fair. Hmm. Gets to the that's, green one first, he wants, That's the over. one he wanted. Up. That's the one. Oh. 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 It's wow. two down. <laughs> He's playing a cracking bowl. That was the hole. He had to find the hole. He found it perfectly, but probably because of the weight, it was going to move a fair bit, wasn't it? So he was a bit stiff. Once again, a very good bowl with no luck. Sand effects are picking up all the crows at the moment. Yeah. I have to turn that down a there's little a bit. bit. There's a bit going on. That better not be a sign in the football match. <laughs> turn no. the crows down. <laughs> Blues are a goal in front. Oh, hang on. He's, he's yeah. You're watching intently on the on the uh, footy and not the bowls, I reckon, at the moment. I'm doing all the commentary, you're doing nothing. I'm watching everything, mate. <laughs> Got my hands and everything. Races, the footy, yeah. the bowls. Oh, dear. A jack of all trades, master of none, they say. Something like that. Yep. All right, looks like Lukey's going to cover and split the two back bowls at the very least. Yep. Yeah. There's a nice little shot. Yeah, you know, just Ellie, Ellie can play a handy bit of weight there and his chances of landing yeah, bowls, getting a little bit jacked in the line. The two bowls out, and if he, even if he gets the edge of the jack, it goes straight back to Dave's anyway. He's uh, playing anywhere, I reckon, one, two, three yards away. Yep, there, so yep exactly. With any of that bit of pace. He, he's got to let it and trust it out there that it will swing it back underneath Dave's bowl. He's, got, than he's probably a little bit more than firmer than I though. thought. Oh, yeah, he'll get it. Oh, well, he, he might have made, made shot out of that. Yeah, I'd say he's made one for sure. 
Great yep. bowl. That yeah. was a good bowl. Two really good bowls. First one didn't had no luck, and this one here, he's he's done really well. He didn't even get the jack. Even the fraction of that jack was going to probably help him out there. I'm actually convinced now that he might be playing with his Tiger 2s and not his XGs because he's, he's getting a fair bit more bend than ben, everybody else. Yep. Might have to go out and uh, just have a little bow peep at those poles no, down I'll the back. I'll just ask him when he walks past next. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was actually rolling up yesterday. We're looking at the bowls. They're the same colour, same colour paint, same logo. And he goes, I could actually go out here and probably use two different <laughs> two different bowls. bowls and nobody would know any difference <laughs> except for me. You know, but yeah, people would actually notice which one was ripping and which one wasn't. You know? Exactly. Oh, mismatch set. <laughs> I accidentally did that. Yeah. <laughs> I I can recall a story. It wasn't there firsthand, but I've been told where Brett Wilkie had gone to. It was 2013. Prior to Glasgow Games, they're doing yep. a, a like trial and, and series over in England, and he had two different sets while he was over there. He was playing singles, and uh, he couldn't work out why <laughs> one was ripping. <laughs> yeah, and he accidentally put the wrong bowl into his bag, so he had uh, two, two different sets. And so he didn't get penalised. Uh, no. The common sense prevailed. They said, "Listen, you've accidentally done that. You didn't do that on purpose. Yep. Uh, you just have to wear it for the rest of the game too." And I can't remember whether he did win or lose that, but. Um, it's pretty hard when you, mm. <laughs> you hang on. Which one have I got? <laughs> well, he said he picked up on it three quarters or halfway through the match. You know, so yeah, yeah. Better wait, Dave. Good correction. Yeah, Dave. great wait. Yeah, and just behind, very, very well done. <sighs> CJ wasn't too far away either. Score update from the ladies' semi-finals. Gold Murray's kicked away a little bit. They've obviously picked up a four in the third end, and then they're now leading 6-2 over Geelong after three ends. And the other one, we've got... Uh, we can't see the scoreboard at the moment, which will... Sammy's standing right in the way. Now... Let's see what's going should on. Should be able to give everyone an update from that game at the back on the B green. Yes. They should have finished by now. They got away at the end. They um, Again, so, after so that. So they won... They? Uh, William McAway and James Scullin has defeated Ian Warner and Greg Brown 19-16. Yep. So they're through to the semi-final and play the Geelong pair in tomorrow morning's semi-final. Yep. The Geelong boys, um, four down last end, got a four. Yeah. Tied it up and got <laughs> one on the last end. Mason Bayless's last behold. Oh, <laughs> magnificent. Stiff. Very stiff. <laughs> yep. He couldn't have done much more. That was a good game of bowls. Come from well behind. <coughs> Luke's just got that little bit of weight. It's a little rub off that. Oh. It's played uh, not too much over, but he just he made a ride, just got that little rub to, to get himself back to the shot bowl. And get the shot. Sometimes when you're playing really good bowls, anything can happen. Close. He's close again. Oh, he's just gonna. Yeah. Still a handy ball. Oh, yeah, it's still. It might be two. Looking to try and draw around the back, that front ball, and try and uh, get a little jack movement. Yeah, just the fraction of jack, just to move it back to his own. It's probably 
just a fraction of weight. His line was pretty good. If he keeps that line and drops just that two foot of weight back off that, that'll come back and be drawing on it. On CJ done. I reckon he's trying to obviously get under his own and try and then draw the yeah, day's back. Yeah, if bowl. he gets back to the... But his weight's oh hurting yeah, too. It might very become good. a nuisance bowl. Well, it could be too. Mm. Obviously backing it to get down from out there. Yeah, well, it looks like it is anyway. It's both um, Ali's and, and Dave's bowl both got back to the line even off that, you know, round. they just got to find that weight. He's taken a little bit off now and then that's the problem, trying to find that perfect weight to get back around. CJ will want to make sure he gets... If he can sit that back bowl, he can make three out of that. It's better weight. Yeah, that's that's a good ball. Very good ball. Very good ball. Didn't sit it out wide either. So stop, sort of jack high to give Ali something to sit on yeah, as well. I reckon there's chances Ali might play bigger weight now. He might because he's now probably either two or three down. Try and get that white one that's just short of the two shot bowls mm. under him a bit. Well, this will be interesting if he's using the Tigers. The amount of swing, if he plays, he's going to play backhand. Backhand, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well. They've sort of matched up everywhere here, yeah, so we can probably play with a bit of um, confidence and, and try and sit the bowl, Dave's bowl, sort of just just behind the head there, and he becomes another one because I think he's got CJ's at the back in be, in between the two uh, Dave's two bowls, so he's covered down there. He's got cover everywhere, but he's going to go the forehand now. Still can get to that bowl on the forehand. Yeah, though. yep, for sure. You just don't want to... Uh, he's going to be... Oh, he's going to tight. Just the weight, probably. Changes angles for Ali, though. Mm, certainly does I now. I don't like that running shot now. No. Ooh, still going big. Forehand now. Close. Ooh, got the front. He wanted to get Dave's bowl. That's what he called. But he just yep. probably got on the wrong angle. Probably too much straight versus on the outside edge. Yeah. All right. Sit that bowl for four. Well, I reckon it's sit that bowl nearly for five, depending on how far you can yeah, roll it. Yeah, exactly. And stay there. Yep. yep. And that brings the side one of, I, of CJ's in, you think? I just think the idea, though, is to draw and try oh, to get yeah. for starters. And if yeah, you happen exactly. to turn it, well, that's a bonus, you know? Yeah. Well, the way he's been bowling, his first four ends have been well and truly on fire. Has he got enough weight? Uh, I don't think he sent it. No. Wow. Be two, I reckon. I think two. Measure for three, no. Yes. Thought the third one might have been in. He just rolled that bowl enough. Three shots, yep. So, score is now 7-3. Played five ends. Nice little um, pick up there just to sort of give yourself some breathing space. Uh, morning Peninsula. I cannot say Peninsula properly first Peninsula. Time. Yeah, I'm getting that word wrong. 3-2 <laughs> over Yarra after five ends and Goulburn Murray leading 6-3 Three. after four mm. against Geelong in the ladies fours semifinals. They're playing their fifth now and... 
just uh, only a couple of bowls to go, so. Handy starter by CJ. <laughs> yep. Good weight. Yeah, both sides coming off a good uh, quarterfinal win, so they'll they should have both come in with a fair bit of confidence. Dave's just going to drop one in a fraction short again. Well, this is the time of the match now, I reckon, with the amount yep. of shadows that are creeping on the green now. Yeah, we're five o'clock. We won't be far from probably turning the lights on soon. CJ's just going to drop short again, the same similar weight. So they're just, yeah, maybe just that little bit of right in the shadow there. Grass starts to just start to stand up a little bit, get a little slower, just that fraction of weight. Dave's giving it good air out there and weight's a lot better, but. Still, um, CJ probably holds two. Far away. No, even if he turns yeah. CJ's over a couple times, yeah. which he has. Yeah, it just makes it that little bit closer. Fair bowl by Ali here. Yeah, great shot. Great shot. Yep. Perfect. It's going to be a difficult shot. He's going to play the right way to try and draw... Just get enough weight to get him off the jack, but there's someone that could do it at the moment. First part's actually all yeah. right. Yeah, I don't know whether he's got the weight, has he? Yeah, it's just that weight. It's the last couple of ends. There's yeah, been a few just, more shorter yep, bowls. Exactly. His first, his first <laughs> shot, um, his first one where he, he knocked CJ's bowl up was yep. probably the weight that he needed to have with that second one. Correct. So. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, he's Ali's got to be using the Tigers. That they're, they're drawing well and truly. Um, I think he's using the Tigers. JT, <laughs> that drew from a lot wider from than CJ's did. So, Luke's mean. Oh, uh, Luke's yeah. Oh, sorry. Come on, mate. Get yeah, God, on. get it right. No mistakes allowed on this. <laughs> no one ever makes a mistake on this. No, never. <laughs> Afternoon, righty. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, the Greens have been probably anywhere up to 16, I reckon, and then I said they're probably just slowing down now. They've been fantastic. Just that, just that two feet of extra weight now to try and get to the jack where before it was sort of finishing off. Not far away. You're definitely watching that last one of Ali's where it turned. I'd say he, he must be using the Tigers because that was a big draw for, for the everyone else's has started to tighten up that fraction and he's still sort of throwing them out there. Got so. some good bites still. Yeah, exactly. No. 
I yeah. didn't. Yeah. I didn't realise. Um, what he's unhappy about. No. Like his speed was good to finish in a good home, and he got a little used a little bit of a friendly bounce. It yeah. wasn't like he was no nah. terrible. Bowl, no, you that's know. right. Like he he put it out there, and, and the weight was not too bad. Yeah. If he if he had have missed the bowl, he still was going to probably only finish another eight or ten inches past there. There you go, Bowlesy, who would probably definitely know. He's saying Ali's definitely playing Tiger 2. So I said that was my assumption yeah. a couple of ends ago, but just early days I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bowlesy said he, uh, uh, Dave is playing with Tigers 2. Well, I wasn't quite sure. They looked like that. Around the top, like the yellow hensolite word, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But they might both be playing with the Tigers down well, there. Yeah, Scotty plays with them. Yeah, he'll know. Yeah, he should. And know. he was here watching earlier too, so he probably even yeah was definitely known. I just didn't think he's returning as much as um, Ali's though. Well, even on that last one, I thought it, it looked like outside the line coming. You know, when you sort of see them coming down and they're coming from outside in between the the next quarter of the rink and, and it turned back and I thought well, it's, it's got some good turn as well so maybe they are that well obviously they are so maybe they play together they use the same same sort of line so they can get some sort of similar reaction but left-handed and right-handed sometimes they, the left-handers put them down a whole, a whole lot different than us right-handers correct they're weird oh. <laughs> yes so uh, once you, they get on the mat and you go on, it just doesn't seem right. You, you can't sort of work out if we're, they're, they're aiming or what they're doing. But, no, uh, well. All right. Uh, Lukey switched the forehand. Mm. He did ask CJ earlier about, you know, could he get it on that hand? So he's going to have a bit of a run. Ooh. It will kill, I reckon. Yeah. You would think so. The only way it won't is if he um, gets onto the outside edge and just flips it out, one out. And that's what Ellie does here. I think he, like he nearly just, if he has to draw back to Dave's bowl, he beats that more sits even just on that bowl it's going to give him plenty of uh, another one in the head another one yeah that's that is big draw well it's another one yep three -ish. so it's back now I think CJ wants him to just yeah try and draw well he's lo if he's inside Ellie's last he's very close to getting a second shot yeah exactly He's asking it to hold outside, but I don't think he's got the weight, has he? No. What the hell he's going to do? There's nothing behind. No, well... I'm thinking if he could get his own over once, yeah. he might potentially bring... He's... Yeah, that's what I think he's... That's what I reckon they're looking at. Yeah, if he turns that kitty back to Dave's bowl... If we're looking at the screen now... Yep. Ali's bowl is the one to the right, the backest one, and then over to his left-hand side, yeah, it's, it's Dave's. Dave. So if it got over once or twice, Bring he's bringing those, them both in, Yeah, exactly. He's already got three. And Could make four, five, yeah, five or six. Five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As said, if he, he just do the, if, he's if making he, four anyway. Exactly. He, he he plays similar similar bowl to his last one. If he's a fraction tighter, he sits the bowl, hits the jack, the jack goes over, and he probably brings the back to him. Twenty. He's having a good look at it. But he thinks he might be a little wide, is he? Probably wide up. for the pace, though. Yeah. Jeez. Turn turned Dave's over a couple <laughs> times, too. <laughs> turn Dave's over into it. 
I think it's three, isn't it? Three at least. I think it was I'm watching the board. Three. Yeah, three. So six, seven. Yeah. After uh, six, six ends. ends. Yeah. That one's beside us was short. I think that might be. <laughs> the girls have just had a measure on the length and theirs was short. And I think this one might be a fraction short as well. No, yeah, yeah he's, he, they probably got the mat back a little bit further. They were right up on the line, but... Um, I tend to play a lot of 21 metre games. Yeah, I, I like build. the 21s, and just it's close, it's I reckon. It's close. Uh, well, it's going to be in, I reckon. If you look at that black mark, there yep. you go, see? Mm. JT's on fire. <laughs> He's pulled. <laughs> yeah. The mat back up a fair bit longer than that, further than the girls before, so. Playing the short ends, and there's, although that last one they played, they tried to play the up back to the bank and or closer to the pit, and that didn't work. So, Get under. There he is. Just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Yeah. Green slowed down a little bit. They're playing the little shorter ends to try and uh, just get the same sort of feel. Blues going all right, JT. Goal in front, Bull. Oh, that's all. That's all you need. We kicked three goals late in the first quarter to hit the front. Ooh. You're up by seven. Mm hmm. Oh. Go, go. Go, just doesn't look like he's got enough run. He's probably last, he went from probably the best person on the rink for the first six ends, four ends, five ends, four ends, five ends, and then yep. the last couple where the pace has come off, he's just mm. missed a bit. Oh, I'm a surer man of his colour, but we'll, we'll fix this up soon. Yep. It's coming far away. Nearly drawn that. Very yeah, close. Pretty close. It's hard to get the angles on the uh, screen when you're watching them and watching them live and seeing where they are. That's why I'm always loath to say, oh, it's two shots or three yeah, shots. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You can yep. make, be made to look very silly. He's just done it again, Luke, and just just can't quite find that that happy medium where he was all over it earlier and reading the pace really well and just that... Second or you know second and a half just dropped out of the green that little bit. He's just can't find that 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 two feet of weight. Coming through that big shadow that's directly in front of us as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, Dave's not, far, not away. far away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so There's not much discussion about who's holding what and what's uh, going out there at the moment. Give some score updates from across the green. Uh, Geelong's closed the gap a little bit. Yeah. They're now six, seven behind Goldman Murray. So Goldman Murray's leading by one after six ends. And Metro. To, oh. God, Mornington a Peninsula. With Mornington Peninsula. <laughs> They're 3 2 up over uh, Yarra Great after bar, five. CJ. I was going to say Metropolitan Peninsula <laughs> then. God. You, you never make mistakes in this show, you told no, me before. No. But when I do, I take the piss <laughs> into myself anyway. Not even sure I should say that, but I did anyway. Yeah, you did. Yep, exactly. I heard you. Good bowl by CJ, too. He's, the um, boss is probably listening and I'll be in trouble, you know. Uh, so. They won't worry. <laughs> you got to be able to take the pee out of yourself. I always do. <laughs> CJ's not happy with this one. He's, He's just fraction quicker. quicker. Yeah. Yeah. So I hold... Probably the one. <laughs> Only looking to come on his back end, I think, trying to peel that one out and fraction of weight. Yeah, I reckon. Just Chances? Four feet, five. Oh, he's probably, you know, eight or ten feet away just to try and get that side. He's got them both there going. Oh, that's a oh. bowl. He called that before <laughs> he left the other end. He said, I could get both of those. Yeah, big bowl. Turn that from, was it nearly two to yeah. three now? Yeah. Um, what a bowl. That's a magnificent bowl. We got a replay for that, Brad, or not? <laughs> I want to watch it. I, I watched it live. I didn't watch it on the screen and see how that came back through, but he just, that was perfect. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of pressure now on, on uh, Luke because he's dropped short the last couple. And, and that's... Probably when you're making sure the next time you're not going to be short and you don't want to be short, you're down. So tendency to just run through that tiny little bit. So he's probably trying to talk. He's, he's looking if he like turns he's it a little bit, he yeah. might even bring the two other green bowls of days on this yeah, side of the exactly. ring into it as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. Well, the way he's played a couple of these bowls, he's more than capable of doing it. For sure. <coughs> He's really um, hit his straps the last couple of ends. Well, we'll see what the great man can do. His weight looks pretty good. Very good. He's just going to count. He's going to count. Oh, is he? Oh. Well, Dave gives the thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up, but I'm not sure. They could be just saying, yeah, you're good, <coughs> mate. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like it's definitely three. What's he done, Luke? What's he... He's a fraction tighter, but I think he might be... He's not going to get down, is he? Is he going to get down? Better wait. Yep, he's dropped back. Way better, according to CJ. Yeah, I reckon it's... Two. Well, one. One and a measure. They're going to measure the... The front one looks... 
on the screen it looks like a team, but yeah. it's it's a long way away. And I'll have a look at the front one. Alrighty, well, I think we're back live and uh, pretty handy head of bulks developing here on, on his end number eight of 
It's been an enthralling crash, clash so far. 1-7 the lead in the way of Dave Ashby and Ali Forsyth. They picked up a couple threes last few ends. So get yeah, back in front and joining me to call the rest of the action here this evening at Bendigo East. Tony Sherwell. Evening, Tone. Evening, Sammy. Evening, everybody. At half time here, seven ends gone off 15. Nine seven. The lead to the sand belt pairing. Dave Ashby, Ali Forsyth. Sun just going down here, Sammy. We'll see a bit of a change in the green. It'll slow up just a touch. Lucky someone just put the lights on before he came on air with a commentary change. Set for a thrilling finish. Speed. Comes to a good spot. Well, looks like we're back across Facebook and YouTube. And the winner of this match, Sammy, finds themselves in a final. They do, to be Men's played yep. yep. One more match, the other half of the semi-final being played tomorrow morning. Shot here. It's much better, as you heard Ali call it for us. Turns a ball over the jack and gets it to a really good spot. Target reduced now. Just a little trail around the corner. As many bowls to work off and change hands as well. He doesn't want to turn any of these in, doesn't. So, with the skips final bowls to come, it's uh, David and David and Ali holding a pretty good two. The semi-final will be played tomorrow morning. Torrent, Will McElwain and James Scullin have won another game. The better McElwain, as was called today. By to a margin. <laughs> They'll come up against Scotty McLaughlin and Dan Priddle, representing Geelong. Both out of the Heighton Bowls Club. We saw them on the stream earlier today. Nail-biting finish went to an extra end. There's Ellie Forsyth. Does Ellie Forsyth things. Lamont, who's been in unbelievable form all season, needs to come up with a big one here. Three down. White missing. That's a goal. White was good. Just found the middle light. Sure, Valley will. Try and add to the count here. It's I think he can make it any better than it is. He might just get one down the back if the jack is to stay in. See him change over here to the back end. So wanting a bit of coverage out the back. Yeah, he just wanted to wants it to hurry all the way. Uh, Just, but it's over to Luke Lamont in his last bowl of the end. More interested this time, Tone. Yep, got it. It's a good shot. What's followed through? I think his own bowl has nearly followed through, has it? Tone, the jack stayed in. 
Jack stayed in. Jack's gone almost straight back. Yeah, Steve, his own bowl, Luke's, that was Luke's that followed all the way through. So a good hit, Jack stays in and is able to run past. Alex probably a bit disappointed with his last bowl, he didn't actually get further back. Yep. I mean, see, even if he had a, a foot more weight, he was still held to one. All the way, it's an important end for the lead our boys to get. So 9-8 after eight ends. The lead still with a Clayton Perrin representing Sandbelt region. Still plenty of people have stuck around. You probably can't see them on your screen. A lot of them are having a roll. Those that have come up uh, kicking off their campaigns tomorrow. <laughs> Men's fours and women's triples action kicking off. Some women's four semi-finals going on to semi. We've got Geelong up against Goulburn Murray. They are locked at seven apiece after seven ends. And Mornington Peninsula at four, trial Yarra seven after eight ends. Into their third game of the day for women's fours. A few clashes within the draw, which means we've had to play an extra round tonight or this afternoon. Got a bite from Vinny. Pleased oh, to hear that. The oh, V-Man. Hashtag V-Man. <laughs> Hashtag V-A-Man. <laughs> and uh, Andy McDonald saying green looks brilliant. It is absolutely picture perfect. See how much it changes in. What is there? Another hour, hour and a half left in this game. One in it, Very similar to a game of football we saw earlier this afternoon. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wow. <laughs> That's a good percentage. Mm. Good percentage. Well, going down by one's got to be going down by 35 or something, doesn't it? Not 24 or whatever it was. Hang on. Like. Yeah, only 20 something. A couple of late goals. No, my saying is I think went okay today. Luke's got the speed to run all the way. See how much speed comes out of the green. Sun's just about gone. Down here, as you said, tone lights are on. a little bit now this green. I see Luke Lamont put a couple in just shy. Really nice. <coughs> Seems to pass the front is okay. Yep, that'll be enough for shot. Played. That last little bit of late finish. The way that bowl's finished, it's on. on. Still getting a nice turn.
Good over there, Sammy. She doesn't want to duck away late. Just a little bit too yeah, much fish. See Luke just still down. She starts to find the gap and they run away late. Yeah, weight was pretty good from Dave Ashby. <coughs> Just a touch now, right? Yeah, could, almost, Luke's pretty much caught it for me there. Didn't change much here. Play the mm. same bowl, same speed. Give yourself mm. a chance to get a touch of the jack. Very smooth delivery, CJ Snary. Yeah, that's the result. Lovely lawn bowl. Just fractionally better speed. Holds it all the way mm. on. Nearly tripped over a bowl as he walked backwards. All good. Extreme length tone to get that view for you above Green A here at Bendigo East Bowling Club. Love it. There's nothing this man can't do. <laughs> Except give us a replay without crashing the stream. That's all right. We blame JT. We'll for work that. on that. <laughs> this is not a bad track here, Sammy. Yeah, similar to where CJ's last bowl was. It's got the same speed. This will run all the way to the jack. Well, he's practically playing Caterpillar out there. The line's really yeah, good. Just I think what Ali's, yeah, I think what Ali's looking for there. That's the way to go. He's got to find that port on his forehand. It's his own on the way in. Plays pretty positive. Not a lot of things can go wrong. He's got their own in there. It's pretty protected. And still got nice turn towards the centre of the rink, if you like. I reckon you'll play more, more weight than less here. Yeah, that's the sort of speed I thought he'd play at this tone. Just over, he's missed the line, but... and in doing so he's got a bit stiff mm, blocks up that same channel for his second yeah it does it doesn't make it any easier looking from the mat it's always harder sometimes when you get this camera behind the head like he's still like you still miss that still get back to the to the shot bowl but from the mat that last one that he's turned across you can almost see it there See if Luke can add a little bit of pressure and throw a second in. I'm not too convinced he hasn't. Might be short again, I think. Corrected, to be honest. And if there wasn't traffic in the way before... <laughs> there certainly is now. There definitely is now. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky part is I don't know if he can go quick because there's a chance he can... Like, it'd be unlucky, but you can't afford to flick your own out of the head here. If he does take his own out, Sammy, it's... Yeah, 
Mm, actually, it might not be. Ashby's ball out in the wing might. If you go big, and, like you can just fractionally miss either side, you end up getting off CJ's front one back to the shot bowl and removing it anyway. Can you go backhand run for Jack back through the port of uh, Luke Lamont's two white balls? Yeah, you can. Just same thing, you sort of flirt with a bit of danger, you end up getting Lukey's one of his front ones through alleys at the wrong angle. Like, same thing, you'd be unlucky, but you're going to take the chance when you're ahead by one and only one down at the stage of a semi-final. I'm not. <laughs> and when you're Ellie Forsyth. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just do what I like at that point. Mm. Back myself to get it. Let's see what the boys have come up with. He's a world champion for a reason, Ellie Forsyth. And he's gone tone option here. Back in with a bit of white. Just searching. It's got a drop. See what happens from here. Well, it's a worthy effort. So he almost drifted and got the jack all the way through the hole mm. for a couple, but not to be. Another single. Yeah, it was interesting. It was sort of a... I would say it was a loose end. CJ really the only one to mm. no one on it, but it was still an intriguing end towards the back end to what Ali could do to come up with the shot. It certainly was. Nine all after nine, all the nines. Players just started to cool down a little bit. I can see some out of wear going on. Some hoodies, jumpers. Both skippers have disappeared. Makes for an easy clean shot. We can see every ball now. Good response from Dave Ashby. Gateway uh, got beat in the round of 16, I think, on by a shot or thereabouts yeah, in, in the, the men's fours. pairs. Yeah. And they made the quarterfinal in the women's fours, but went down uh, not by much. Round one, my bad. Round of sixteen. It's the Geelong ladies who are made it through to the semi-final. Still out there battling, so they still a chance of saying we got beat by the eventual winners. What an evening for its own. What a location. Great to be back here for another year. Certainly is. Some of the best greens in the state here. Of course, well supported by the city of Greater Bendigo. Our stream powered by Moama Bowls Club and Dandenong Bowls Club as well. All terrific supporters of bowls. Therefore, we can bring you this coverage. State Champions Week semi-final men's pairs action for 2024. So he's on a wide line here, but these Tiger twos, look at this, just rip back. Just doesn't have the pace, unfortunately. Already made the mistake a couple times this morning, tone of calling them a fraction wide out of the hand, but just a late turn, especially on this side. Yeah, such as the lovely finish on these greens. Ali 
Forsyth didn't even wait for that pole to finish before he delivered that one. He's got a big week ahead of him. Yeah, he sure does. Falls action tomorrow. Interesting to see how he is tomorrow. He's been using a sort of assist post or yeah. a, an aid the last little while. Be very interesting to see how he pulls up after three games today. All these matches being live scored as well, so if you do want to follow along end by end, jump onto Bowls Link. Follow along any of the matches your heart desires. He promotes his own ball in. Alright, CJ looking at trying to open something up here. Just literally clear anything out. The front is good. Well, it's not so clear anything out of the front is good, <laughs> literally except that. He's got their own movie out of the head, and somehow turns Dave's a roll closer. Luke Lamont had a little giggle at that one. Anything but that. Dave can add another one in here. Look to be a mile away. Looks very good to me, Sammy. Really, really good shot. Gives nothing to work with. Covers no. up a bit more of the shot bowl. There's nothing really to get out here. Just fly at the front and try and open something up. CJ's one. It's sort of on the line pass. Looks close, but it's probably a good foot and a half through. Forced into playing weight again here. Go. Chance. It's got contact. It's two out. Well played. It's a pretty good hit. Probably, yeah, reduces the count definitely back to one. It's still going to be hard to manufacture the shot. I mean, he does open up a little bit of a port now on the back end to get a piece of the jack. I'm sure, Ali will be keen to put the pressure back on and get one straight back in there. Couple of shots to the Mornington Peninsula rink, just over a little bit. We've got a few little edges on the way, but two shots go into the books. Just give me this one to hurry. I do so. They really do turn quite a lot. Only four scythes bowls. So all of a sudden, Lukey Lamont in a bit of trouble. Good hit with his first, has cleared some bowls out of the head and back to just the one down. He's opened up a shot for himself. It looks like it'll be a backhand. Try and get the jack moving for a couple himself. This would be a huge turnaround the way the head was set up as he made his way back to the mat. Yeah, don't hate that line. That's why it's own. Mm. Has he got it all the way through and fell back or not? I think he's still one down, signalled yeah, by CJ Steph. Snary. Yeah, yeah, he's signalling that. Great shot, even giving it a clap himself. Ripping shot. What, were you, what are you laughing at over there? You're <laughs> very amused. I just caught the eye of a couple of players who were on the, the wrong end of a couple of lucky wicks.
The game of balls, gotta love it. Alright, so we think Ali's still holding one here. Nothing silly here in terms of light. Just giving it every chance with Jack Eye Speed if it roops back. That's a bonus. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a safe ball. Yeah, that's a good effort. That's a good effort. They'll take the one. Go down to Bowles once again. <laughs> here ten the nine lead. after ten. Neck and neck. In fact, all three matches, not a great deal in them. Nine, seven. In the women's four was Geelong leading Golden Murray. They played nine ends. Yarra leading Mornington Peninsula, nine, six after ten ends. And ten, nine here is the lead to Sandbelt over Eastern Rangers. That's what you'd expect at this stage of the tournament. High quality players everywhere. Tight heads, good bowls, lots of conversions. Shout out to our umpires too, Sammy. Yeah, big, Laureen Smith, big week ahead. Bobby Carlson, Rod Bates, done a terrific job today. All of them very, very accomplished in their own right. Lovely opening ball. CJ Snary. Seems to prefer this direction, going away from the clubhouse. We're up past his front, it's good. Yeah, that's a good correction. It's good stuff. Could be the longest siren I've ever heard in my life. Doesn't feel like it's, it's moving either. Half, yeah. <laughs> CJ just a touch shy of what he wants. His line is magnificent. Yeah, like it's not a bad bowl. It just gives Ali a mm. look to see the bowl for two himself. So. Everything here. We've got to be really careful here. Yeah, a little bit quiet, a little bit tense. Oh, look at the late turn. Yeah, builds up the head nicely, gives him another one thereabouts. Let's see if Luke can. Down and change things up. Got a bit of weight behind this. Yeah, he doesn't finish in a bad spot, but not quite what he wanted. Yeah, shorter length. So he's had a few drives the last couple of ends, or going back in the other direction. Unfortunately, he can try much harder there. Like no. he's not every chance. He's got Just unfortunately much sat down. CJ Sneary's bowl. Yeah, it's made it much harder to get to. Afternoon, Brendan. I don't have to tell you that. It's right in behind now. Not a lot of space between the bowl and, or Jack. And they've got it pretty well surrounded. Like you're just <laughs> missing sort of fraction over, fraction wide. Dave will make sure he gives this every chance to reach through. He's got a chance to get the shot ball moving out of the head. Really asking for it to turn. Yeah, he played that nice way to 
Change it up. Great track, doesn't yeah, have the pace. Yeah, pass everything, it nearly counts. Uh, couldn't be far away. Or not. It's not far away though, you were correct. <laughs> it's far enough away though. Far enough away. Turn back the count. And change it up here, give the forehand away. He's got his own to work with. Close semi. Mm, spits well, it was the jerk always out. an option. It probably actually makes it two. I was going to say it opens it up. I don't know if it makes it a heap easier for Ali or not. See, they still got their own to work with. Dave's other ones hang around. But if Luke can add this in, it's going to put Ali under the pump. I haven't been under a lot of pressure since we've jumped into the commentary box tone, but if Luki, you know, CJ, sorry, can add this in, she's not far away. Just needs to beat Ali's back on. Oh, he actually he didn't need that touch. He's past that. He sits Ali's bowl and nearly forks back in for another counter. Yeah, it's just going to be sort of, you might have heard Ali on the way back there. He can't play big, he gets everything through the jack there. I don't have anything really right past. Come up through Dave Ashby's ball. Yeah, I think that's the play. He sneaks around it. Be a good chance of getting shot with the right way. Yeah, I think you play enough speed to get Dave's bowls all the way through the jack for a couple. Just needs to hold on. Hold on hold. He's got options on two or three balls. Well, he gets one through. There was multiple options, weren't there? That's one of them. Say so, yeah, that's... That's gone far enough for the shot. Let's see if we can get any of the boys' indication. I reckon that is one. Absolutely nowhere. We're going to try harder. Luki shaping up on the forehand all the way here. Probably get indication by what sort of weight shot he chooses to play. I mean, it's all happening for him on this forehand. Not far away, Sammy. Oh, yeah, this is good here. Just doesn't want the gap. Nah, got all of it. Jack what a great Queen. shot by Luke Lamont. What a ripper. That was a really nice speed for the shot. Gave him enough chance to just turn a little bit. Holding a couple now. Take the gap out of play. Tricky shot here. It's a good second. It's okay. Luke's still with one more to come as well. Track looks good, Sammy. And it's still going to hold on. Cut one out. I'd say it's done enough for... I'm not sure it has. Yeah. I'm not sure it has. I'm going to say it is in for second shot, but the angles can be deceiving, and your eyes are better than mine. Either way, Luke Lamont's got about three or four feet to draw at least a second, if not a third. Pretty good. Yep. Well played. It'll be in two. I don't think the third one's far away from counting. Well, it's very obvious. Just a couple by the looks of Dave Ashby's single, I think. Look that way.
put it in as two on the live score, Sammy, and I can amend it if I need to, but pretty up, confident. Brave enough to put that in the graphic that you've seen at home as well. 11-10. Lee changes once more. Women's fours action over on the far rink. Geelong and Goulburn Murray locked at nine shots apiece. They played ten ends. Ten of fifteen, that is. And the lead to Yarra has been whittled away a little. They lead nine seven over Mornington Peninsula. They played eleven ends. Yep, well played. You should to hurry up, get at least passes from one. Thereabouts. See if Luke can on this first turn CJ's. It's a good shot. Really something else to work with. In the ballpark, playing speed to change this rod up. Needs the inside of this at least. Back to one and stays around. Love the pace he played there. Give it a good chance to sit on the ball. Work off them and get back to the jack. Luke Lamont's going to put another one back in though. Yeah, it just needs to hold on. Yeah, it gives them one. Another one thereabouts. It's a good shot. Similar weight. I think that's almost the same bowl. That's where Luke bowl, Luke's bowl was. And yeah, it drops in. Sort of a little bit disappointing. I wanted to give it a chance to sit the bowl all the way through. Change things up, but it's just overplayed it. You yeah, would have liked to have had that one stay on. Mm. Didn't go in by much, but. So Yarra women leading nine shots to seven after 11 ends, Tone. Just trying to figure out this sort of one clear shot bowl that's behind the jack. And that's Cheryl Atkinson. Okay. AJ's got second shot back to the left. So, so Yarra ladies hold one. Couple bowls left. CJ right in the zone here. He hasn't missed too many lately. He's been very good the last few ends. Good. Yeah, there's still chances. Well, he's asked for about six feet away, dear. Spot on, David Baker. Smooth as could be. Yeah, so 
Iron Bowl is good, but he love a little bit of a little bit of jack down the line around the corner, or even turn his own one that's on the right hand side. Slightly wider track. Just to change things up because it's still a little bit open. I don't know if that's going to help the cause. Needs to run past. Well, you still got to play it. Still got to really get their jack moving out of this area here. Short. Wants, well, needs a piece of the jack as well. Oh, it doesn't oh. need a piece of the jack. <laughs> it's not a bad second prize. No jack, but from yeah. one CJ Sneary ball to the next. All happening. Falls right back in behind. Big time ball by Dave Ashby. That was huge. Three or four down. Gets a high five from Ellie Forsyth. That's how good it was. Yarra women in their fours match pick up a single. And now lead 10-7 after 12. Still neck and neck there. Front and then fell back almost in his own way. At least still with a couple left. Morning to you, Andy, watching from Devon over in the UK. And morning to the one and only Cooper Westcombe. Should we Maybe go? Should we go? Suspend for fifteen. Mm. Ban from Page. We can ban from all live streams, or mm. just this one. I don't think we do any of that with Cooper Westcombe. I, I like hearing from Cooper Westcombe. I know you do. He's a good man. See you up here tomorrow morning, pal. Now we know Ellie Forsyth's bowls are really ripping late. Asking for it to woo. It's a fair ball. It's <laughs> just doing whatever he asks. He told it to woo and it wooed. He told it to fall down and it fell down. It wasn't going to until he told it to no. fall down as well. How did he do it? Yeah, it's a pretty good shot, so it's definitely a couple. I'm not sure if Dave Ashby's front one counts for three or not. It's not far away. Oh, no. Oh. Close to the sort of overhead camera we have. Mm. I've gone up on top of the lights and just <laughs> seeing all the angles. Thank you, Brad, from SEN. There's nothing he can't do. Brilliant. It might just be the two. Dave's one. It's a foot out. Lukey's one to the left is bang on Jack High. It might just be the two light here. There we go. A little. Conference from Eastern Rangers boys. Decided to go the forehand draw. Don't know if it's letting go in time. Oh, here it comes late. Wow, it's worked all the way back. A little bit of assistance. Don't know if it's cut anything out. Still close for a couple. Starting to get a little bit chilly here now, Sam. I'm freezing. The sun has disappeared. We well, are in shorts. <laughs> Certainly is Scotty Biles and the leads a fair chance to change hands again here. Feel he can repeat. His last bowl is going to get inside. Luke's last one is enough to count. Close here if he's got the weight. That's where they come from. Just needed another spin or two. And take out one, though. Just double check it is two. Ellie says it is, so I'm going with what Ellie says. They regain the lead, Sam. It's 12-11. We played 12 ends. 
in this 15 end match. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? That's all right. Hey, we're going to look after the commentators. <laughs> well, if they can't look after themselves, I think we need to teach them a hard lesson. 12, 11. It's a little bit of frostbite on your legs won't hurt. Oh, here he is. You broke the stream and now you want to come back and join, do you? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Guys, it's only day one. Relax. What on the same team. Yeah, handy opening ball from Dave Ashby. Just cuts under slightly, but weight's very good. Oh, this, we've already had an extra end. Stream today. Surely we're on for another one here. Well, there's never been much in this match. Started off 2 all. 3-4. Three, A three-shot margin is the most we've had all match. Yeah, both teams have only won back-to-back -back ends once in the whole game. One's been able to fawn into real momentum and keep the mat. Obviously, that's reflected in the score you see right now. Just three ends to play. Yeah, very high standard game. CJ says it's moving. Warren, it's a little bit quick. Not too bad at all. A couple of feet behind. It's a handy spot. Good shot. Ten shots apiece over in the women's fours semi final semi between Geelong and Goulburn Murray. They played 12 ends there. Next door, the other semi final between Yarra and Mornington Peninsula is a 10 7 lead to Yarra. Great effort from Ellie Forsyth. No change. <laughs> and it's set up well for the Louis Alpair here if they could. Another one to get right in behind the jack and be a bonus. Good line. Absolutely perfect. Pretty good effort here, Sammy. Just a touch shy, but the line was spot on. Good head from all players so far. off his own there to the left, gets back to the jack in time. Ellie well, remarked after that one, the weight was close, just needed to be a bowl higher. Yes, unbelievably good as this 
green is with a little bit of weight on the side, sort of closer to us, where a rink in hit. It can be a little bit tr tricky sometimes to, to find the line with that added sort of weight. Yarra women's four semi have just picked up another single. They're leading 11-7 after 13. Good, but there's a cluster of bowls out to the right of the screen. We can look, uh, CJ be pretty keen to change something here, or just whack another one on top. Well, that's made it a lot harder to get the jacket. That's on it now. I'll tell you has. what, that's a pretty fair bowl. I'm not sure what Ali's going to come up with now. Couple down. <laughs> How good is this game? Could be more back and forth if you tried. Was picture perfect. I could see the same avenue for three that you could, but it's closed off now. Still sticking with this side. It's got to hook in quick now, though. No change. Danger here from Luke, just backhand drawing up to it. Really Going to turn out of his own here on the right. It's probably enough for another. Or just rip underneath. Excellent bowling. What is this standard of game? That is unbelievably good. That's in a third. He's going quick at this outside one. If is Dave, he's going quick or not? I sort of missed the conversation. Did you pick up, pick that up? Yeah, I think he's just finding it difficult to see from the other end. Okay. Lights are on. But so he's going to play something a little bit more conservative. Yeah, just ditch weight. It's got to drop again though. The big end. Chance now hasn't been too many multiples. There's been a couple threes in the middle stage of the game, but since then, there's been chances for numbers. But no one's been able to hold on. Chance here now for Luke Lamont with the last bowl. Event number 13 to add what would be a fourth shot in here. Silly in terms of line, very conservative indeed. Yeah. <laughs> the boys having a bit of a laugh. I tell you what, it's still coming, Tone. Yeah, it's ripped hard as can oh. be. Well played. They pick up a three. They retake the lead once again. With two ends to go, we're up and back here. Men's pair semi final. CJ Sneary and Luke Lamont leading 14 shots to 12.
going on on the rink uh, between Yarra and Mornington Peninsula. Yarra ladies holding at least three. Four now after that ball from Tristool and she's doing CJ Sneary things over here. Or vice versa. CJ Sneary just saying it is quite dark, a little bit difficult to see. pretty well in the dark though. That's Luke Lamont. Yeah, Lee. thing he wouldn't be happy about is he's giving Ali a look at the jack now. Yep. Time for holding on in time. Pass the front, he's good. That's a good shot. Yeah, he's a little bit unlucky. He doesn't really give him much of an angle. Sort of makes it harder to work off the front up to, oh, nice. yeah. up to the jack. Yeah. Luke can get to it first. Oh, she's not going to hold on. Doesn't really change anything up the front. Uh, I can answer if you that. Yes. And they go. Maybe they go both. Makes contact. Sticking with this searching sort of weight. Not going to hold. So, still cross over a couple down. They've got a good third shot. Plenty of bowls still left in the end. All players with two left each. So, CJ's giving everything away and just trying to get something down the back. Last end in the women's fours match between Mordor de Peninsula and Yarra. Yarra leading 12 7 after 14. And uh, Goldman Murray picked up a couple to lead 12 10 after 13 in the other semi final.
just play the shot that Ali played. He's wide with this one. Where do you get to if you see CJ with your last? So, high draw on the forehand. Just happen to rip all the way back and get a little touch of the jack is good, but if you get another one thereabouts without making the target bigger, is okay as well. Wide enough here, Tone. Doesn't want to change anything. Doesn't have the weight to change anything. So run away. The weight was good, but yard narrow. <laughs> we know what Dave Ashby's trying to do. He's had one go at it. This is very close, Sammy. <laughs> what happened? I actually missed what happened. Just missed on the high side, but... We can't have missed. He got a piece of the jack. Yes, he did. How he's just chalked his bowl. Well, the jack hasn't moved enough, has it? It's still in the pack. Must have been a little whisker. See if we can get that on the camera and go back. Since JT came back over and stood near us <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Lamont back on the mat. My lead by two in the men's pairs semi final. Second last end. Still pretty content, so going for some coverage down back. All right, here we go. I reckon we've got that camera behind the head back. So the jack moved marginally. Mm -hmm. Still a couple, not a lot to play out here. Ellie with white. Chance. Oh. Any pace to the front one. Make things interesting. Last ball of the end. Pretty content to hold a couple. There's, yeah, Luke <laughs> killed that one for us. Is that the technical term? Might have heard in the effects, Mike Luke Lamont saying that's a nothing ball. Kind of is. Yeah, but where do you get to? Like, pff. he's playing white. He hits it. It's very likely to kill. Hard to cover. The end has dropped short. Does Ali go with big weight again? I think he's going to back himself to just hit this. Couple down. One into play after this. Oh. 
belter of a draw draws applause from Dave Ashby. Jack is out of bounds. Lovely hit. That is unbelievably yeah. good given the circumstances, Tony. Unbelievable. He's changed his hand. He's gone backhand inside out. But he was able to get Luke's front one square through the pack. Yep. Played the forehand. He's more of a chance to get an angle. Change his shot. What a hit. Restart in number 14. Luke Lamont's done a Josh Thornton and said, well, all the bowls are down here, so I can't be bothered rolling them back. So let's just do it from here. <laughs> John, the third headset is a right of reply there, mate, or you've already, you've already clocked off for the afternoon? He'll get me back tomorrow, don't worry. No, JT told a story earlier about that. So regular listeners will get what I mean. And I can tell you, Sammy, over on the Yarra v Mornington Peninsula rink, Yarra lead by five on the last end. They're down at least a couple on the head. Mornington Peninsula skipper. McColgan has one bowl to come. It's been quite a loose end from the Yarra ladies. Sammy Atkinson said, we've got the front covered, the back covered and the sides covered. I think we'll find they will shake hands there. They do indeed. So three more to the Mornington Peninsula team, but it's not going to be enough. And that will be a 12-10 victory to the rink of Cheryl Atkinson, Jodie Neville, Tris Doolan and Sammy Atkinson representing Yarra. So they have found their way into the final of the women's fours. <laughs> Goulburn Murray in the other semi-final have started to kick away as well. They now lead 14-10. Successive twos on the last end. So We'll keep you updated with that. Of course, you can follow along all these scores on Bowls Link. CJ Snary hasn't missed a lot. Sammy, it's been very good today. Yeah, he's probably been slightly more consistent in the like the lead battle in terms of the first two bowls, more than anything. Yep. Seems had shot and position more often than not. Fortunate again, just not clocking the right angle. The bowl, it's a handy second shot. Jack. Oh, and sticks on it. What a shot. What a shot. Collects the jack straight back to Dave Ashby's bowl. Sticks on it. No, a big time bowl. Rogers says. Look at this. What it gets to as well. It's not straightforward here. I don't have to play something inside out, maybe on the forehand, or try and draw around the front couple of bowls. Yeah. 
as a forehand underneath. Turns, Luke's is okay. It's great to be able to sit where we are, turn and always listen in to the insights of someone like Ali as to why they've called, what shot they have here. Backhand draw, Jack Height. Lands it there, can count and covers any Jack movement out to the right hand side. Yeah, you can certainly learn a lot by watching these players live in the flesh. If you get a chance to get here tomorrow or any day for the next week, come on down to Benico East Bowling Club. Interesting to see if CJ tries to play something similar. Wasn't a mile away, he's got something he looks to work off. You can almost get that at an angle where it turns it in to make it close for shot. I was gonna say he doesn't love it out of the head. <laughs> he's just calling it he hates it. <laughs> yeah, we'll never know. Luke he's kept himself right in front of the camera. Same sort of bowl. Dave Ashby doesn't like this one. Back turned straight away. One of the, uh, I know the jack's moved a little bit, but mm. one of the looser ends we've had. It's just yeah, starting to tighten of, up. I mean, what, what Ali played to change it up. Sort of meant like four CJ to play in a few sort of not dead draw shots, so that sort of contributed to that. Still a chance here. I'm not sure if Luke's going to try and play forehand underneath or not. It's a high degree of difficulty either way. No comments on that one. We didn't even see it, Dave. Dave Ashby's just walked past commentary and just said, make no comments on that one. He's got the back end drawers, Luke. Just hasn't sent it like the line. All of a sudden, previous end. Little our guy's holding a really good suit. Now he's able to kill it, restart. Now he's got his chance himself to add a second in. Looks still, of course, with one one left. Everything gets a little bit tense near the end of a semi-final. Oh, every chance would be enough way to get there in time. Still just a one. Don't know if it makes it any easier for Luke either. This one's probably right in his line now. over and play this forehand that CJ was trying to play early in the end. Just played nice of weight. 
Yeah, pretty good attempt. Another one thereabouts. So, Nelly, last bowl of the end. Held it. Good one. Where's the easiest spot to draw a second? Just got to have the exact weight to get around bowls either side of the head here. It's not a heap of room to draw another one in, though, with a lot of front traffic. No, correct. It's not an easy... Not an easy ad. I think you just sort of... Hear him saying he's happy to miss wide. Yep. On the side. So expect this to be the same hand as his last. Still going to win the last end here, even if it's one or two. Right, so he's going the opposite hand, so there you go. Yeah, he's, he's going to try and draw around Luke's here. Luke's front one on the left. Get around that and get back with the right weight. And he's giving it the line that he... Miss wide. Come on, pal. Clear road. Run. Run. Oh, what a superb That's effort. Great Absolutely effort. Absolutely now the line. All for oh, like a bowl more weight to hold on in time was enough. Well. You know what that does, don't you, Sammy? Do I? That lines us up for an extra end. If, uh, Ashby and Forsyth can pick up a single here. They've shaken hands over in the women's fours. I don't think anything miraculous happened on the last. And Goulburn Murray were leading 14-10 playing the last end, so they certainly look the happier of the bunch. Found themselves in the final of the women's fours for state championships 2024. That'll be Golden Murray up against Yarra. City v Country all over again. Yeah, who can find it first? I reckon it's CJ in the area again. Is it quite running out like I thought he might have? Confirmed as one shot to Geelong, so 14-11 is the final score. Oh, big time oh. bowl for Dave Ashby. Ellie Forsyth asks for is. all of it and gets it. Respond straight away, but tell you what, I reckon the Jacks movie another few times in this end tone that could come in handy. Oh, the team has been able to win consecutive ends since end seven when Dave and Ali picked up back to back threes. have been able to stick to this side of the green more often than not. They've played more bowls on this side. Yeah, he gets to sit the bowl on Charlie Jack and just probably overplayed it. Still just a draw shot. Got to get a good second still. Otherwise you leave yourself vulnerable to sort of build the head poorly and lose the game. As good as it is to have bowls pass. Ellie's not missing a second time. I'll give Ellie a chance to close down the head first. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yep. Still plenty of 
bowls to be played. Actually, good touch. I'll back him to correct here. Nice enough line for it, Tone. Needs a wait past the front. Still holding on. Oh, it's a good shot. Gets second. Well played, just enough weight to clear the front. Extra end is on, Sammy. Yeah, now it becomes a little bit of danger on that side, so it's a nice wide draw here for Dave on his forehand. Around alleys, rip all the way back late. Yeah, they can't afford to play that side anymore. They turn alleys front one. Turns Luke a couple rolls and they might find themselves down. So don't know if it's wide enough. You can see Ali willing it to clear his front bad, one. It? Oh, it's cleared it all right. Look at the late turn. Oh, what a bomb. He saved his absolute what best till last bomb. year. <clears throat> exactly as he was called by his skipper, Ali Forsyth. Certainly gives the Eastern Rangers boys something to think about. Uh, there's nothing to work with, Tyrone. They do have Forget. two at the back. Yeah, it's just hard to get the jack moving. Yeah, I think that's the, the way. Searching yeah. on the forehand. Play more weight than less, trying to get the, sort of the bowl that's a bowl in front. So you get on, onto that, maybe through the jack. Yep. Could even get the jack out of bounds and set it up and start again. Yeah, small target. We've got four goes at it. under I think Sammy oh, stays on yeah I mean it gives him a cider I think that's got to be the shot like not sure if it stayed inbounds though it's too hard. just both having a look too hard to play anything else umpire now being called Bring over the boundary scope. We'll just determine whether or not this bowl is in or out. May well change a bit of shot selection, Sammy, just while we check it now. from Bobby Carlson in a moment. Life member Bobby Carlson lining up the scope. Ali replaces the pole. Bob packs up the scope. And we're back on Dave Ashby with one bowl to come. Pending the rest of this end, Sammy. Yeah, see where Ali's still there. That's where the danger is. Sort of hard to cover. I think the jack's getting right right out, sort of getting more sideways or killing. I think it's getting all the way back into the ditch, but 
get anything. You can sort of see how his foot just there. Anything in that zone will be valuable. Might find Bob's back out with the scope. No, early concedes. That one is OOB. A little bit quicker now from CJ Sneary. More interested as well, Tone. Just going to clear the front or change an angle. Oh. Well, it doesn't change an angle. Nearly got the Lamont bowl on. Well, it, do, it does change an angle up the front. It, if he, it's the front through the pack. It's getting onto the jack now. And they can, Luke can just go flat out of this, try and kill it and restart. Get the angle from behind the head again. Thank you. There you can see there, you get the front one, that's CJ, sort of loaded up on alleys, get that through the two shot bowls. A three bowl cannon. Yeah, I don't know if it gets the jack moving out, but it at least reduces the count. I don't really know if Ali can cover anything here. He might just draw out to the forehand to try and beat Luke's other one. Get them another one thereabouts. Dead quiet. So he plays his second last bowl. They hold a couple, asking for it to hurry. What's this done? <laughs> That's a oh, great ball. Oh, what a shot that is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's nothing you can't do. Well, it changes the angle once again up the front. I'm not sure if it changes the angle so now it misses the pack or whether it actually directs it onto the jack. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably half a chance. Want out to get the, uh, CJ's front one through the pack and get Ali's last ball through the jack and back. I think it misses, depending on the angle. I think it misses the jack. No, nah, well, you, you got to play it. Maybe it misses the way they've... Like Luke's pointed... The CJ's pointed that out there. Yeah, he's almost thinking that bowl onto the two green. Well, all the way. He's got to really punt up the middle here. So a couple half chances for things to go their way. David Alley couldn't have played much more of a better end here on end 15. Big weight. Pulled it. No change. Now the decision becomes Alley Forsyth's. What does he try and protect? Blocker. <coughs> yeah, you can look to cover, but... Where do you cover two? Like, you need to hold the shot wherever you cover. Spending some time over this, as they should. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't mind this. I mean, it's up to them. They, where they cover, they got to assume that the, the jack wants to stay in. Don't leave it to chance, but hard to get to a spot. It's going to score if it is to stay in. It's going to leave everything up the front. Just happy with those angles the way they are. Still asking for it to hurry though. Oh, I didn't want to, yeah, I didn't want to really turn any more closer into the pack, so no. this is it. Full blooded weight again. Luke Lamont, game down.
Here we go. Well, it's pulled the weight back substantially. Just trying to search and get back into the pack. It's a very good effort. He's still drawing the shot. He's drawing the shot. Ali Forsyth can do nothing but applaud. Luke Clement comes out with an absolute cracker to draw the shot. Well, we were all sizing up for him to go big weight. CJ Sneary pulls him in for a bear hug. He knows that was a awesome draw shot. And Luke Clement, CJ Sneary have found their way into a state championships men's pairs final, Sammy. Unbelievable ending to what was a high quality game. Wow. <laughs> You're still sitting there in disbelief. Yeah, can't quite believe he's he backed himself to get back to the draw. They'd played a lot of balls on that side of the green throughout the game. It's the confidence in his own game to have a crack at that after going a full blooded drive. To the draw, you see the late turn, even at what are we just before seven PM this green still with plenty of turn both hands and if he doesn't fall in, it's probably one and we play an extra end. Mm. Falls down, doesn't touch the jack. Wow, absolutely amazing bowls. We've been treated to a peach of a game and that will conclude our coverage. For the men's pairs, we'll be back with more action tomorrow. Brad from SEN, thank you very much for producing the show. To JT and Sammy in commentary. Of course, Brian Madsbridge, who joined us as well. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who's put it together. It will go down in the record books to be a 15-13 victory to Luke Plamont and CJ Sneary. 15 ends are all done. Thank you very much for joining us on BVTV from Bendigo East Bowling Club and on behalf of the City of Greater Bendigo, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.